this is uh, just a quick video on how to change an interest rate in financial maths from yearly to monthly. It comes up a lot in the exam and it's something you should know very quickly. So for this, we're going to take an example of this. We're going to change the yearly rate of 4.5% to monthly. We'll always be using our financial maths formula, which is given in your logbook. Um, but remember, when we talk about interest rates in this, we're always talking about decimal versions of the interest rate, never the percentage symbol. We never would put 4.5 in for I. What do these symbols mean? So F means the final value, P means the principal value or, or the starting amount, and I stands for the interest rate. Again, always ensure you're in decimal, and T stands for time. Always make sure your time matches your interest rate. For instance, if I was given a yearly interest rate, I'd make sure my time was in years. If my interest rate was monthly, I'd make sure my time was in months. Now, to deal with this, so we're looking to change 4.5% to a monthly version of that. First off, let's change 4.5% to decimal. Now, what would that be? Well, 4% would be 0 0.04, and the extra 5 would just actually add on here. So we can't have two decimal places, so 0 0.045 is 4.5%. Now, how are we going to use this formula to solve it? Well, remember, we're looking for an interest rate, so we are solving for i here. So this is how I do it. I always will give a principal starting amount of 100. And what I want to think of now is, and you'll see why I use 100, I want to think of a number that's 4.5% bigger than 100. And that's pretty easy with 100, because if something was 10% bigger than 100, it would be 110. If something was 5% bigger, it would be 105. So 4.5 is going to be 104.50, or 104.5. Now you'll see why I did this. I is something we cannot fill in here because we're solving for it. But what I'm saying is that if it for takes one year to get 4.5% bigger, that means it must take 12 months to get there. Now, by doing this and replacing T by 12, it will match my interest rate monthly. So I've taken a principle of 100, I've increased it by the annual percentage, and I've changed my time instead of one year to get that far, 12 months. Put these numbers in here. That gives us 104.5 equals to, and for P I have 100, and 1 plus I to the T, which is now going to be 12. Now I'll do this step by step. The first thing I'll do is I'll move this 100 across over here, so that gives me 104.5 over 100 is equal to 1 plus I to the 12. Now, next thing I need to do here is I need to get to this i here. So, what's trapping this i? We need to get rid of this 12. If it's to the power of 12 over here, it's a similar to like something squared. I take the square root of the left hand side, except it's not squared, it's to the power of 12. So, what I actually do is take the 12th root of that left hand side. 104.5 over 100 is now equal to just 1 plus i. So, a big step here. So I've just taken the 12th root of the left hand side to get rid of this power of 12 over here. And one final step would be this. So the 12th root of 104.5 over 100 on square root. I still want i on its own. This 1 has to go. What happens here? Well the 1 comes over as a minus 1. Now I will actually put this straight into my calculator all this stuff here and that gives me and again my calculator has a bad screen but you'll have to get used to that so this button here actually above the square root is shift and this button and I can actually put the number 12 in there then in here I'll do 104.5 over 100 and I'll say equals to and then I won't forget to subtract my 1 and I get a Point zero zero three six seven, and let's go around it up to five. That'd be called like four significant figures. So I'm down to here. So what's my interest rate? Well, I have my answer. It's point zero zero three six seven five, or if you like to write a percentage symbol, just move this by two over. So we go point three six seven five percent. That's it.